Welcome back. This video is going to be about the making of the condenser for the triple expansion engine. Now the condenser basically recycled the steam back into fresh water. Uh, we've got a kind of radiator uh, assembly here, uh, which you'll see on the, the later part of the video. Um, this is actually put obviously all the way into there. Um, with a cap that goes against there and effectively what happens is the vacuum pump would then create a vacuum in here this is as I see it I could be wrong and if anybody put me right with this fine but um, the steam exhaust goes in here condenses on here and then is pulled out by the vacuum pump itself so the vacuum's created i think from there and the water goes out there or the other way around i'll have to look into that um so the video is a little bit about making this um it's not completely finished yet. Um, it needs to go into the acid bath for an hour or two to get rid of some of the muck. Um, also, we've got a turbine. This turbine here is effectively what they used on the Titanic, where they're on full steam, uh, but only going forward. So the excess steam from here is going to go into here through here drive the turbine and it'll have another prop shaft or prop on the end of it and that will be driving like so um, so the excess steam from this will go into there and then be pumped out with the vacuum by that now that's as far as i've got with making it and i'm just having a look now where i'm going to position all these parts and the setup itself um i've made some stands for it here pretty simple so there's quite a few pictures that I've just took because watching me silver solder and uh, just constantly drilling holes uh, <laughs> would get a little bit tiresome. But I hope that fills you in with uh, the progress on the engine. I think um, there's going to be a little bit of a gap now. Uh, I'm going to have to start to dismantle the engine uh, into its constituent parts uh, this is going to need painting um, and I'm going to have to start make, thinking about making the stands for it and where I position all these parts now everything's made um, so uh, like I say there might be a gap uh, but bear with me I've only got some of these to make and the slide valves so that's basically everything now made for the engine. I've just got to uh, put it back together and, and make it run. So hopefully that's going to come pretty soon uh, in the next uh, four or five weeks. So bear with me on that. But in the meantime, um, please enjoy the little video after this. And thanks very much for watching.